Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. This is Pastor Shagun Baji. Thank you for tuning in. I love to hear from you. Send in your prayer requests, your testimonies, and questions to the address on the screen. God bless you. Now the word for the day. Give no place to strife. No strife is actually contention for that which is not necessary. You are contending for what God has already blessed you with. It's not necessary. It's not required. You know, strife is arguing over issues such that you start seeking your own. Strife produces self-seeking tendencies. And God doesn't want us to get into strife. Praise God. God has got your back and He loves you. Your portion is already prepared before the foundation of the world and it's preserved and kept for you. The Lord is the portion of your inheritance and of your cup. He maintains your lot. So you don't have to get into strife. It's unnecessary. Praise God. James chapter 3 and verse 16 tells us, it says, For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Now, strife ministers or produces confusion. Confusion simply means short-sightedness. You can't see beyond your nose. Blindness of the mind. The mind is confused and cannot see afar off. And that kind of vision is always um, a child of strife. So when there's strife, you're fighting for what is not necessary. Instead of letting God preserve your portion and give you that which is prepared for you. So you don't have to get into strife. You know, there was this contention of strife between um, um, Abraham's headsman and Lord's headsman, you know, over space for grazing. And the Bible tells us, Abraham said, look, all right, we are brethren. We don't have to strive. All right, you, if you go north, I go south. Go west, I go east. You know, the land is before you. Just choose wherever you want and I'll be fine with what is left. And then, you know, Lot chose the plain land of Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham was fine. After that Lot had departed from Abraham, the Lord spoke to Abraham. He says, look, look north, south, west, east, as far as your eyes can see, I've given unto you, including the place that Lot went to, you see? It was not necessary because Abraham's portion had been predetermined by God. So Abraham knew that strife was not of God. You don't walk in strife and expect God to defend you. It doesn't work that way. The blessing of God on your life is not compatible with strife. Strife will make the blessing of God on your life not to produce. And that's why we run away from strife. Glory to God. Walk in peace. The Bible says to follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So peace is, is what is needed. All right, You follow peace as much as it's in your capacity, it's in your power to do. Make sure peace is your priority. You choose peace and not strife. Praise God. Hallelujah. And God defends you. He preserves you. And it brings you to a good place that is prepared for you. So get out of strife. Get out of bitterness. Get out of unforgiveness. For where there's strife, all right, and envy, the Bible says there is confusion and every evil work. So give no place to strife. Say amen to that. In Jesus' name, strife must not have any place in your life. You got it? Praise God. I will come your way again tomorrow by the grace of God. And until then, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.